Patricia Gibson. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Polling on Welsh independence has found that young people aged 16 to 34 are far more likely than any other group to vote by a majority for independence ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. secure the change they feel their nation needs. This mirrors the views of young people in Scotland who believe yep. Scotland can yep. and will prosper outside union this broken nine. union. Why does the Secretary of State think that so many young people have so little faith in the union? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Mr. Mr Speaker, contrary to what the Honourable Lady posits, I actually think that young people want and welcome the right to be able to live and to study and to work in all parts of the United Kingdom, which is why, Mr Speaker, consistently the Conservative and Unionist Party has always polled far higher in every kind of election than parties which seek independence for Wales. Kirsten yeah. Osborne. Mr Speaker, according to a study on hunger in Wales, around 753,000 Welsh people faced hunger in mid-2022. That's more than double the population of Cardiff, with Welsh Trussell Trust food banks experiencing an 85% increase in the amount of emergency food parcels they distribute compared to five years previously. What specific conversations has he had with Cabinet colleagues and the retail sector on the high costs of food in supermarkets? Mr. Mr. Speaker, obviously, Mr. Speaker, obviously, all cabinet colleagues are absolutely committed to making sure that we put our resources towards the least well-off, which is why pensions and benefits and the minimum wage have all gone up in line with inflation, and why there have been extra payments of £900 to people on benefits, £300 to pensioners, and £150 to households with disability. But at least the people of Wales are not in the same position as those of Scotland, where 1.4 million people are being hit with extra taxes. Final question, Patrick Reddy. Mr Speaker, well, actually, families who need it most in Scotland receive the game-changing £25 a week Scottish child yeah. payment. So when will you devolve powers over Social Security to Senate Cymru so that it can also make decisions like that to protect the people of Wales from the Tories' cost-of-living crisis? Yeah. Yeah. Mr Speaker, I can, uh, I can assure the Honourable Member that all members of Cabinet are committed to resolving the cost-of-living problems that have come about as a result of the problems of the Covid pandemic and the war in Ukraine, which is why we are up first priority is to halve inflation, Mr Speaker, as well as growing the economy and reducing debt and stopping illegal immigration into this country and where we're responsible for it in England to reduce hospital waiting lists.